So it's pretty obvious that United need to bring in a press resistant deeper lying midfielder to partner alongside Casemiro and Bruno Fernandes. And Enzo De Fe is a central midfielder that would stylistically fit this bill. The diminutive 23 year old stands at 5 foot 7 in height and he's able to combine this low centre of gravity with fantastic intricate ball control to create an elegant dribbling style that allows him to drop deep receive the ball and similar to someone like Frankie de Jong use his ability to shift his body quickly wrong foot in the pressing player enabling him to then turn and drive the ball forward up the pitch because he's been utilised in pretty much every midfield position over his short career which has already seen him make 100 appearances for Lorient in Ligue 1 he really has a technical ability of an attacking midfielder just in a deeper central midfield role and when we look at his FB ref report we can see just how good a ball carrier he is as he ranks around the 90th percentile for his progressive carries carries into the final third and carries into the penalty area whilst also ranking in the 96th percentile for his successful take-ons but what I really like about Enzo Le Fay is that he's not a one-dimensional midfielder you could make the case that with players like Kodeo Kone, Declan Rice and even maybe Christian Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes that they can only really progress the ball in one way with Eriksen and Fernandes it's through their passing as they don't really have the dynamism to take on players and drive the ball through the centre of the pitch whilst players like Kone and Rice definitely have the athleticism to drive the ball up the pitch but not really the incisive passing ability to thread a pass through a compact defensive shape into players between the lines but there are certain central midfielders such as Jude Bellingham and Frankie de Jong who have the ability to not only progress the ball via their dribbling and ball carrying but also through their passing as well and I would put Enzo De Fe in this category as well as he has the ability to turn away from players and then when in these positions he has great timing and weight of pass to thread a ball into players further up the pitch most of the time in behind the opposition's midfield line but not just this he's got the ability to spray long passes from deep connect the attack well with a series of short passes in congested areas and he's also a creative threat when in the final final third as well, able to find runners with through balls and being a very good crosser from wide positions particularly when he floats over to the left side and is able to swing in an in swinging cross and we can see all these abilities pretty clearly when we look at his FB ref report as he ranks in the 94th percentile for both his XG assisted and his key passes whilst also ranking in the 73rd percentile for his passes into the final third the 80th percentile for his passes into the penalty area, the 73rd for his overall progressive passes, and the 90th for his crosses into the penalty area as well, showing that the 23 year old is a multifaceted central midfielder who can do pretty much everything Ten Hag would want a central midfielder to do in possession. Add on to this his fantastic shooting ability around the box, which has seen him score 0.15 goals per 90, ranking in the 82nd percentile, then you'd have to say there aren't too many central midfielders in Europe who can provide the same sort of output in possession that the 23 year old Lorient man can. Now what was very surprising to me when I first started analysing Lefay is just how good he is from a defensive point of view as well. Just by looking at his diminutive stature and how he is in possession you would expect him to be the type of midfielder who whilst being excellent in possession could be a liability if used in a midfield too. However this is anything but with Lefay as whilst he doesn't have the physicality of players like Kone, Rice, Casado or Casemiro but he's a player who can definitely provide defensive contributions. Able to apply pressure high up and win the ball back with standing tackles or recover loose balls by making sliding tackles as well and we can see this from his FB ref report as he ranks in the 90th percentile for the amount of dribblers he's tackled and whilst he does lose a lot of these challenges ranking in the 27th percentile for the percentage of dribblers he's tackled he is engaging in a high amount of tackles ranking in the 96th percentile for the amount of dribblers he's challenged as well as the low to high 80s for his tackles in the middle and attacking third as well as the mid 90s for his overall tackles one and his tackles in the defensive third he also ranks pretty decently for his interceptions and blocks as well showing that Enzo De Fe doesn't have too many weaknesses and could be regarded as a complete central midfielder and so I think Enzo Le Fay would be the perfect player to play this Roman playmaker role in Ten Hag's side and given that his contract expires next summer and he is at Lorient a Ligue 1 club he'll likely be available for between 20 to 30 million pounds now in a separate video which if it is out will be linked in the description below I will be covering what Enzo Le Fay and other players would bring to Ten Hag's side in this particular Roman playmaker role which I will be explaining in depth and so check the description to see if it is out if it's not subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you do get notified when it does come out put your thoughts on Le Fay in the description below and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more content as well